the first important law that we would discuss in electrostatics is Coulomb's law. I hope you know what Coulomb's law is. State Coulomb's law. The force of attraction or repulsion between two point charges very important. So Coulomb's law is applicable to only point charges. You can't apply Coulomb's law to bulk charges. So what it means is when I say point charge, it is a charge of very small magnitude. Say there are two point charges Q1 and Q2 separated by distance R. So let's continue the definition. The force of attraction or repulsion between two point charges is, is proportional to the product of the charges and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. Is it correct? I repeat, the force of attraction or repulsion between two point charges is proportional to the product of magnitude of these two charges and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. So can I write force as F bar, we know force is a vector quantity, right? Force is proportional to Q1, Q2 by R square, is this correct? And if I remove this proportionality, I need to replace it with a constant, say that is K, K Q1 Q2 by R square. And experimentally, it is found out that K is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon. So, this becomes F bar, F bar will be equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon Q1 Q2 by R square, where epsilon is equal to epsilon R into epsilon R. And what is epsilon called? Epsilon is called permittivity of the medium. Permittivity of the medium. What is epsilon R called? It's a relative permittivity of the medium. Epsilon R is referred to as relative permittivity. And what is epsilon naught? Epsilon naught is absolute permittivity. or sometimes referred to as permittivity of free space. Permittivity of free space. What is the value of 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught? 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught is equal to 9 into 10 power of 9. So if you look at this equation, is this correct? We made a mistake here. So it is not the vector representation. This is not a valid vector representation. I want all of you to realize that whenever you talk about a vector, you should talk about both magnitude as well as direction. So whatever definition I told you just now, it is not the vector uh, form of the force definition. It is only the magnitude that I discussed. So when I just say the force and I, when, I, when I compare a force with the magnitude of the charges. So, uh, I am trying to give you the definition in terms of only the magnitude of the force. So, when we say the force of attraction or repulsion between these two charges is proportional to the product of the magnitude of the charges, strictly speaking, the equation should be mod F bar is equal to mod Q1 K into mod Q1 mod Q2 by R squared. So, it is mod F bar is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon mod q1 mod q2 by r square which means when you are when you are interested in finding out the magnitude of the force then do not worry about the type of charges whether they are positive charges or negative charges ignore the polarity of the charges and just take take the positive values of these two charges to calculate the magnitude of the force between these two charges but as we know Force is not a scalar quantity. Force is a vector quantity. So, what will be the vector form of the force now? The vector form of the force would be F bar equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon mod Q1 mod Q2 by R square R cap. R cap is a unit vector that indicates a direction 
in which these two charges move. So whether it is attractive force or the repulsive force, you can observe that whether it is, a, whether it is attractive force or repulsive force, these two charges move along the line joining these two charges. If it is attractive force, then these two charges move towards each other. If it is a repulsive force, then they move away from each other. Whatever be the case, whether it is attractive force or repulsive force, it, it, this the, the force vector is always along the line joining these two charges. So this R cap indicates a unit vector that is along the line joining these two point charges Q1 and Q2. This kind of equation you will not find in the literature. So you will see it as just f bar equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon q1 q2 by r square r cap. Right? But I want you to understand this part. So whenever you are trying to find out the magnitude of the force, then you take only the magnitude of the charges. So you don't worry about the, the polarity of the charges. Only when you are trying to find out the vector form the force, when you want to find out the unit vector, in in a, in 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 the in the vector form then you have to worry about whether it is attractive force or a repulsive force now let's take one particular case where you have two point charges q1 and q2 and say these two point charges are separated by a spatial distance of r12 and also say the positions of these two charges are given in space that is q1 is at x1 y1 z1 and q2 is at x2 y2 z2 now i would like you to write down the vector form of the force exerted on q1 due to q2 let me denote it as F1 bar. For simplicity, let us consider Q1 and Q2, both of them to be positive charges. So tell me what happens if they are positive charges, will there be attractive force or repulsive force? There will be a repulsive force between the two charges. So when you are trying to find out the force experienced by charge Q1 due to charge Q2, then focus on the direction in which this Q1 moves. First of all, before you, uh, you you consider the direction, as we know, force is a vector quantity. It has both magnitude and direction. Right? First, find out the magnitude of the force. What will be the magnitude of the force experienced by charge Q1 due to Q2? This will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon mod Q1, that is Q1 mod Q2, Q2 by R12 square. Okay. Then the direction. Right. Direction means a unit vector along the direction, uh, uh, unit vector in the direction along the line joining these two charges. Since it is, is a repulsive force, this charge Q1 moves in this direction. Now, we know that a vector is a simple directed line segment. So, this directed line segment, I would like to call it as F1 bar, which has some magnitude, some length that is mod f1 bar and we found out mod f1 bar as 1 by 4 pi epsilon q1 q2 by r12 square now we want a direction and direction means unit vector in this direction how will you find your unit vector in this direction will it be r1 to 2 cap or r2 to 1 cap this direction right now if it is this direction then it is from point 2 to point 1 so it is r R to 1 cap. So it is R 2 to 1 cap. This is the direction of the unit vector. Okay. And can I write this as 1 by 4 pi epsilon Q1 Q2 by R 1 2 square. And how do you write R to 1 cap or uh, in terms of vector R to 1 cap would be R to 1 bar by mod R to 1 bar. Which, which is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon q1 q2 by mod r1 mod r21 bar is also equal to r12 r12 is a scalar right so whether it is mod r21 bar or mod r12 bar 
it is just a number. So this is q1 q2 by r12 cube into r21 bar. Is this clear? This is how you find out the vectored form of the force experienced by charge q1 due to q2. If someone would have asked you to find out only the magnitude of the force, then you need not worry about the unit vector. You just take the mod of r21 cap that is equal to 1 and you will get the answer as 1 by 4 pi epsilon q1 q2 by r12 square. Similarly, can you find out the force, the similar force exerted or experienced by q2, force exerted on q2 due to q1? Let me denote this as f2 bar. So what will be the force experienced by q2 due to q1? It is a repulsive force anyway and this force experienced by Q2 can also be represented by a vector because Q2 moves in this direction, right? Vector whose magnitude is equal to mod F2 bar and we know what is the magnitude of F2. What is that? 1 by 4 pi epsilon Q1 Q2 by R12 square and what about the direction now? Direction means unit vector in this direction. And what is the unit vector in this direction? It is R1 to 2 cap. Right? So it is R1 to 2 cap. So can I write it as 1 by 4 pi epsilon to Q1 Q2 by R1 to square into R1 to bar by mod R12 bar. This is correct. And then this would be equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon Q1 Q2 by R12 cube into R12 bar. If you observe F1 bar and F2 bar, they are equal in magnitude. This is correct. It's only the direction that changes. So magnitude wise both of them are equal and also if you see the relation between R12 bar and R21 bar, what is the relation between them? R12 bar is equal to R minus R12 bar is equal to minus R21 bar. One vector is exactly opposite to the other vector which means what is the relation between F1 bar and F2 bar now? F1 bar is equal to minus F2 bar. So F1 bar is not same as F2 bar but F1 bar is equal to minus F2 bar. So these these vectors are equal in magnitude but they are not they are not equal in the direction.